Hey there. Um, just came into a slew of packs and uh, wanted to see how the experience of opening packs might be when you're not a um, highly rated streamer. <laughs> just to see if it's going to affect my drop rates at all. Run through these real quick. Oh, well. Starting out pretty good, apparently. If you want to get good results from your packs, uh, you really just need to uh, record it. The Blizzard bots will pick it up. So I've got one legendary so far out of my 49 packs. Now, to be fair, I do own a lot already. This, um, no, this is like the first thing. Um, in fact, I already opened one of 50 packs. I was like, oh, you know what? I should stream it for the sake of fidelity and uh, let's see if that works out. Okay. By the way, in case no one's got the chance to play against the fun decks here, we got Clownfish Insane. Doesn't look like a Murloc to me, but um, it makes Murloc Shaman really, really good. Okay, Golden Common in it. I'm picking that pack. Smothering Starfish. Nine packs in. Two epics, Golden Common, Legendary. I mean, I mean, a lot of these cards are bad. There's a lot of really good commons and rares in the set, but not really what you open packs for. I really want to do something with that um, Clash of Titans card or whatever it's called. Put it in some type of. I'm sure there's some type of big warrior taking advantage of it. Familiar with it yet? Oh, hey, Golden Coil Fang. I think it's my second golden coil thing. Nothing super fancy yet. I'm expecting 49 packs with how the pity timer works, I'll get at least three legendaries. I think that's how the pity timer works. It's like 15, 16 packs you can go without getting a legendary. <coughs> so I don't really know that for sure. That's kinda how I hope. Slithering Dread Skill. Three spells, three damage. That's awful. It's weird, because that used to, like, probably would have been a pretty nutty card back in the day. But, <laughs> seven mana deal three to everything just does not seem very good to me. But it's a Naga. So, a lot of cool Naga stuff you can do. Oh, bottom feeder. I've yet to see a deck that can really take advantage of that card, but... Oh, hey! Golden Mecha Shark. It's got a pretty cool golden animation, actually. Uh, I'm not looking to making a... Mer... Mer... Merlock? Warlock? There's no real good play on words for that one. Oh, hey! Golden... Ooh! Golden Trendstalker. I mean, it's not a terribly good card, but man, that's a really nice golden animation. Okay. Got a few epics. Just saw a really cool um, video. Regis was playing. Uh, M08 and Smothering Starfish with um, Jailer and a few other things. Um, had a pretty good run with them. Frontline seems pretty nutty if you get up against the right deck. But it seems like there's a lot of like uh, big decks right now playing big minions, so maybe not the meta for it. But if you can comfortably get to a meta where you can... Uh, big stuff out of your deck and not their deck. It's pretty useful. Um, Frontlines is probably craziest though on uh, 
like Thief Rogue, if they can get it out with that Naga that lets you play your next spell for zero off of Jackpot or something. That'd be pretty, pretty good. And I guess, I mean, you still get disruption to a lot of these combo decks whenever you pull stuff out of their deck. Um, but they don't get to use their Battlecraft X and stuff. Oh, hey. While in your hand, this transforms after you cast a Fire, Frost, or Arcane spell. I remember looking at her and she seems okay. Like, she looks like an interesting card. Um, but I don't think she's going to be terribly strong in any way at all. <coughs> but that's two legendary so far in the, in the pools. Um, so I've been kind of on schedule. Plenty of golden commons and epics. Now, you know, if I was Kriparian or something, I would probably have uh, at least five <laughs> legendaries by now. Oh, well, I'm on my way. There's three. Oh, I got Amy. I never had her before. She's a friendly mech, so I'm going to copy of it with Rush when Fury Divine Shield. I don't see her played a huge amount anymore. I wonder if it's like an off meta mech deck that could be made. Something like Deem Hunter or something. I don't think there's really support for it. Oh, that's a pretty good pack. Use a minion when it dies, so 3 damage. Zarn Vessel. Summon 2 3 3 Pyrus with Stealth. Put a sunken vessel in the bottom of your deck. Those are all. Well, Sunken Vessel's pretty good. I don't think I really see the other one get played very much, unless it's like generated off of something. Draw a card if you played a Naga Hold and let's do it again. Two men draw two. Not bad. That's a Naga Mage. Oh, second of Zarn Vessel. That's good. I don't remember if I made one of those at one point or not. I don't think I did. That's a full set of them. Golden title written in. He's got kind of a cool animation too. I'll put him in my warrior deck. Woodgill. Against Lava Gorger, super good, by the way. I need to, really, I need to revamp my. I've not played Control Warrior enough lately because I just like playing Thief Rogue and uh, played Murloc Shaman to uh, climb the ladder. Don't hate me. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, that turned out about how I expected. Three legendaries on the way down. So. Nothing crazy, but uh, not a bad slew of packs. Got a bunch of my quest to get those things going. Well, yeah, hopefully that was uh, not a terribly boring thing to watch. And uh, yeah, yeah, enjoyed it. Um, put out some content soon, building some decks and, and playing some. Uh, so, yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching.